Hello, everyone on YouTube. And official Gemini is back on social media. He's back on TikTok and he's back on YouTube. So he basically came back and made an apology video on his YouTube. He explained what he was going through and even his therapist spoke for him on his video. Um, you can hear her speaking. And some of you might say, well, he paid her. But he wasn't making an entirely good... He was making, what, maybe decent money being verified on TikTok. He made decent money, but at what? What was he at? Around 4 million followers or so? Even at that, okay, Acrello having more than he has now, it explained it's not great. It's all right money. You're making decent or whatever. Uh, but... You're only making pennies per thousand views. And what was I pulling? Maybe three cents? Yeah, even videos that I pulled thousands of views didn't even get that much being on the Creator Fund. So that's the Creator Fund. Now next, let's talk about live streaming. And remember, the Creator Fund didn't come out till later. But anyways, let's talk about live streaming now, okay? So now live streaming... Um, you can only max out at $1,000 in a day. That's if you make that much. You can make decent, but TikTok's going to take a lot of the money. Um, so I don't know how much you're really going to get in the end. I mean, you can make all right, but most people, they're going to donate roses. You know, some people might give you big gifts and everything, uh, but you would have to nonstop live stream to make good money. Um, yeah, and you can only cash out at a thousand dollars max in one day. So that's if he were to always live stream, but he made videos. That's what he did most of the time when he wasn't working. So as he explained, he worked a job and, uh, even now he's still working a job. So he went to seek help and everything. His apology seemed really genuine. Um, but then again, actions speak a lot of them words, guys, so only time will tell. You can't just kick someone off the internet. There's no such. Even though people are telling them to leave, that's not how it's going to happen. To be honest, when he came back to TikTok, um, first video he did, well, first he did his video leading to his YouTube channel. He should have explained to watch the full video, but I don't know, maybe it was there and I missed it. But I just seen the video and it just looked like an attempt to apologize which he should have showed a different part of the video would have given a better um, an appeal that way. So at least people would see that, okay, well, it looks genuine, you know, and then they would question, is there a full version or whatever? But it kind of seemed like a Travis Scott apology style video. <laughs> yeah, so he should have probably put a different part of the clip in there. So I didn't know there was a YouTube apology. I noticed that after I seen that on TikTok and I looked later, I'm like, wait a minute, why would it just be like this? So, and I checked. So I don't know, maybe it's somewhere in the description, but anyways, I went on the YouTube and it does seem really genuine, guys. It seems like he's really, really trying right now to make a change. And to be honest, that's the worst thing you can do is kick someone off of social media because now they're free to wander and get away with whatever they want. So usually catching someone online uh, on social media so then you have backup and everything else is most likely the best route than using it at, in in the end but it kind of worked out when he did get kicked off because he w went to actually seek help but he did apologize for what he did still it wasn't right anyways he went to seek help and that's all there is to it um i'm not saying what he did was right I, it's it's definitely wrong and um, it's going to take some time. So for the people to forgive him, it will take time. But there are already people forgiving him. Um, and you know what? I seen a different light when I seen how he was acting on this video. When people were messaging. And he was just laughing and liking their comments. Even though they are hating on him. It's like he's really, really trying. And um, he's trying to break past all that. Because in the past, he was really down and depressed for what he did. So even when Papa got exposed him, it just seemed like he was actually sorry, but it seemed hurt. He did. Um, either way, guys, I'm not trying to defend him. Like I said, only time will tell. Actions speak louder than words, guys. Just remember that you can apologize to your blue in the face and 
The only thing you can actually do is show that you can change. And I think a lot of people deserve that chance depending on the level, depending on how severe something is. And if it seems like someone isn't going to stop no matter what, you know, so if they're going to do something bad and they're going to continue to do it and you can see it because they've done bad to so many different people constantly and it doesn't end on a regular basis, people like that, yeah, they got to be locked up, you know, but there's people that make mistakes and there's people that do things wrong they shouldn't have done, but then they apologize and they apologize to the world and they go to get help. Those are people that are trying. Those people right there, I mean, look at all those other people out there that didn't seek help. They didn't apologize. They didn't, I mean, apologize. And the ones that did, it didn't seem genu genuine at all. You know, it just seems like they were just saying, this is my problem to worry about, not yours. Let me deal with my own, you know, you do, you, whatever. So... With those kind of people, I mean, that kind of attitude isn't very good. Um, you need a genuine apology, and they have to be able to show you that they can make that change. If they go to turn themselves in and they go to seek help because they want to be helped, then you know what? These are the type of honest people that we need because there's going to be a lot of dishonest people out there. And you're never going to know, guys. You're never going to know if someone next to you or your best friend could be that dishonest guy. Your best friend might be up to no good. And don't say he's not. A lot of people on this planet, I can guarantee you, you walk past plenty in your life that have done something really bad or multiple things really bad. Things that can have them put away for a long time. So this is why, guys, sometimes it's better to spot the people that are willing to change than those that aren't. You know, because at least, you know, these guys will come forward. These guys will say something. The other guys, no, they're, they're not gonna, you know, the, the guy, the other guys out there, they're only sorry they got caught, but people that actually go to make that change guys, that's what counts. So stop holding something over someone's head for eternity. Once you see time goes by, let's just say over the years, whatever. No one has issues. And it seems like, wow, this person's made quite a change. They're doing great. I mean, they're going to church. They're, they're donating money to organizations that need it. They're seeking help from therapy. All these things build up. And you can create a positive world, guys. I understood he shouldn't have did those things. Horrible. It's, it's wrong. But in the end, guys, he came forward. He came forward. He admitted what he did. How many guys are going to admit, you know, that kind of thing come forward and just going to tell everyone? Most guys would be shaking in their boots. They'd be too afraid to say anything. That is courage right there. Though, actions speak louder than words. And if he's not willing to change, you probably can't ever trust him again. So hopefully, you know, he's in it for the long run and being a good guy because that's what the world wants. You should always be sorry for what you do in life. For the smallest things sometimes, guys, sometimes you, sh you should say sorry, you know? And if I hurt people, hey, no matter what, I'm sorry. For, for little things out there, hey, um, I might maybe get a slight attitude every once in a blue moon or whatever. I don't know how often. Or, you know, or I, I might accidentally not catch your question. And it might have been one of value. One of them meant a lot to you. And you were with your family and you all asked that question together because you wanted to hear from me. And I'm sorry if I missed that. You know, and I'm sorry for all the ones that didn't get to jump in the games when I played uh, Among Us on my main channel. I'm sorry for the ones that didn't get to join when we had like 80 viewers and only 10 people could join. 
You know, I'm sorry. Even these small little things that I will always be sorry for. And you know what? I can only do my best for such small things, guys. And even the bigger things, I can only do my best. And that's why I say, even for someone like Official Gemini, who's done quite a few, you know, things that are unrighteous, you know, at least try, you guys. Try to uh, give them the benefit of the doubt. You know, keep a wide eye, of course. You keep them in line. I expect you keep everyone in line so they don't slip up. Because I would rather have a good person around than not. If it could be that good person, and it could be someone that's willing to make a change, and they're willing to tell you about themselves, and they're going to tell you how sorry they are. And they're going to tell you, yeah, I did this and I'm sorry. If they're willing to do all that. Some people just go silent and leave. Look at, uh, remember guys, Joe Robe. You remember Joe Robe? Unnoble. The opposite of being noble. He just vanished. Official Jim and I. He said he was sorry to, to when he spoke with Papa Gut and everything. He admitted what he would did, what he did. And uh, I mean, it was, but what Papa Gut said was it was disingenuine. But he admitted what he did. He didn't just jet and leave, like Joe Rob. Joe Rob just no trace. He up and left everything. So, even after people were providing evidence, which to this day we'll never know what happened. You know, we'll never know what happened with, with Joe Robe or anything like that. But you guys see, he didn't admit nothing. Joe Robe just left. He shut down his accounts and left. Like a dude running for the train. Or either that or running for Mexico. I don't know. <laughs> running for the border to leave. <laughs> so they don't get busted. <laughs> they were running to the border. <laughs> oh my gosh. I shouldn't be laughing about that, but seriously, guys. Um, you see what I'm talking about. The people that are admit, I mean, that are willing to admit that they're sorry and stick around, you know, after so many months, after what a year he's been gone, and come back after getting, receiving help and everything else and trying to give it another chance. Where's Joe Robe? Where's Joe Robe, guys? But I'm just saying. Anyways, thank you for watching this video. I'm sorry. I know what I said is pretty repetitive. Um, I'm not trying to side or stick up for anyone here. Uh, to be honest, guys, just take it day by day. And you know what? Actions speak louder than words. You guys remember that. If someone's going to ask for forgiveness, take it with a grain of salt and you keep an eye on them. And over the days, time will tell. And if things suddenly get better and you can see that person made value on this planet and they've done some positive impact to this world. And you can suddenly see that there's a big difference there. Those are the people you got to respect, you know. Or at least try to respect. You know. Because like I said. Your best friend. Your guy could be next to you. Could be up to no good. Or that person next to you there. You know. Or your girlfriend. Your boyfriend. Whatever. They could be doing something really really bad. Behind your back. And you wouldn't even know it unless you caught them. I'm just saying. So anyways. Thank you guys. For watching this video, I appreciate it. And I'll see you guys again next time. Remember guys, like, comment, and subscribe. And subscribe to my main channel too. See you guys later.